Hello, how are you? It's me, it's Craig, welcome to Flooded, and another video where I am just talking about stuff, and I have for a while been an admirer of Dr. Disrespect, who got into a whole web of problems, and I think that he is really suffering from um, bad PR on his part. I think he made a very, very bad decision, uh, or a couple of very bad decisions. One was uh, back in, it was at 2017, uh, which I'll talk about in a minute, and the other bad decision was when he made that tweet uh, where he tried to correct himself and he didn't really think it through and really he needs a PR team. Spend some of those millions, Doc, and hire yourself a PR team. Every tweet that comes out of you, make it vetted, perhaps. But certainly for something as important as that, don't, don't take it on yourself. And I think... In order for me to sort of justify where I'm at about this, and where I'm at about this is that I don't think he did anything wrong. And I know that people watching this may go, oh, no, what are you on about? The P word and all that. Anyone who's been following the doc, I, it amazes me that they would think that about him. Uh, having seen him turn up at events with his family. But having said all that... Everyone who, anyone who's been following will know that there was a dark period that he went through and uh, where he was a little bit obnoxious. And this happens to people all the time, celebrities, uh, when they become celebrities, they, you know, there is a, there's a turning point where you start getting used to the fact that uh, people are falling over themselves and parting making a, a a hole for you to walk through the crowd you are a celebrity and it all it's all sudden and he and when, when it happens to you your mind starts believing things about yourself that aren't true and you separate yourself from society in a way or from the general public you you, you separate yourself you become a celebrity celebrities are not general public so you stop being general public and you start being the center of attention for the general public. And I think that's what happened to Dr. Disrespect. Let's look at the tweet that um, that went out. Uh, this is uh, Forbes from August 14. And I want to read this tweet. I'm not going to read it. I don't know what, maybe, oh, hold on. They've not, they've got, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's just read it. And what, um, what I want to do is focus on the words that he's saying and how they how people have interpreted to them and what the inter <laughs> and what I think Dr. Disrespect, how he was uh, did, trying to uh, interpret them or get you to interpret them. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been up front and real with you guys on anything that can be up uh, front about. I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. That is very true. Uh, when he, uh, I can't remember what year it was, but there was a phase in the Dr. Disrespect's life where he was drinking quite a lot. He used to drink on stream uh, and it used to get out of hand. And if you remember the awards ceremony where he won those awards, and he made that speech. It was cringe because he was he was wasted. I gotta appreciate. Last but not least, I get a lot of messages, DMs, emails, whispers, text messages, telling, uh, let me know that I've transformed their lives. There's a lot of people that deal with suicide. D the, you know, that they deal with hardships in their lives. Deal with people that have fought in the war, uh, people that are dealing with cancer, and, and and I get a lot of messages via again via emails, whatever it is, and when and I'm thinking that was the time when all this started happening. Um, he came, he went on to stream and made the announcement that he had cheated on his his wife, and he was devastated about it, and you know. 
you know, what should sh- a lot of people think he shouldn't have done that? He should have just hidden it away, hide it, hide it. And this is what he's saying here. He's saying that he's always willing to expect, expect responsibility and come out and, and, and be real. He says, first and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made a painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is uh, uh, full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions, blah, blah, blah. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, it was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whispers messaging messages? Twitch, Twitch whispers is a messaging system with an individual minor back in 2017. The answer is yes. So that sentence there is what like killed him because he's saying. Just the word whisperers. The fact that the whole thing is called, oh, we're whispering to each other. Hey, how oh, is Raymond? Hey, do you want to meet? Do you want to meet up? It just sounds seedy just by the word, by the fact that that tool is called a whispering tool. Um, a minor back in 2017. I get a lot of messages, DMs, emails, whispers. Um, I would have thought that a lot of people, you don't know the age of anybody, I wouldn't have thought. And if somebody has contacted you in 2017, the dot wasn't, wasn't the scale he was. This was like the things starting to take off. He was drinking, for sure. Um, and I know I sound like I'm, I'm, it's apologetics, but I'm just not convinced. I'm not seeing the evidence to support um, what people are saying about him. And also, uh, the, the, the testimonies that we all have, i.e. the... 20,000, 40,000 plus viewers he would get could all present testimonies to say, this isn't that guy. And all those testimonies, would, are, which testimonies evidence, would be completely ignored because of this, because of the, the, because of the words used in this tweet by the doc. Um, and I'm calling him the doc because I don't know Guy Beam. I don't know the difference between Guy Beam and Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> I'd, I've never seen Guy Beam... Um, and what he's like. I've just seen the doc. Well, I'm, I, I think I can imagine. Anyway, the answer is yes. There were real intentions behind these messages. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. Right? That that there is getting ignored. He's telling you, I'm, I'm, I, yes, I spoke to somebody who was young. Uh, what, what, was there any intention behind it? No. He had no intention to do anything. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. So this is why I want to look at, I can't stand people who, uh, who, who, who I, I'm trying to not use the P word, right? I'm trying not to use it, but I can't stand those people, right? And it, it's just, it, 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 they make my blood boil. But I'm not seeing this here. Um, when somebody says it lent in the direction of being inappropriate, think about when you are having your photograph taken with a fan. Do you put your arm around them? You don't know how old they are. And again, super conscious that this sounds like I'm making. A, I'm an apologist for this stuff, and I'm not. I'm just saying what that putting your arm around somebody around their waist. Look at Nick Pollum. He did it. That's regarded as being inappropriate. You know, he did it to another woman who wasn't his girlfriend and everyone's like oh that's inappropriate so this is why you see hands hovering over shoulders now in photographs because we've been taught that even put, touching another person is inappropriate i don't know what he means when he says it lent in the direction of being inappropriate and the only way we'll know is by reading them right and then we can either cringe and we can all say yeah sorry doc you you, you slam dunk there um we need to have a serious conversation about what's showing up in the Twitch CEOs for you feed. Live ASMR right now. Is this an 
ear licking ASMR stream. I'm sorry. Live in 10 minutes. Let's get partner plush daddies and step bros. Listen, Dan, could we have gotten anything else in your feed to not raise questions and concerns? Cancel culture just brushes all that aside. Don't care. They don't care about that. Uh, it lent in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by a settlement. So, so it's kind of like agreed by Twitch that nothing inappropriate was happening because they would have they'd be duty bound to report him, right? They'd be duty bound to report him to the authorities, but they didn't do that. Uh, the police would have got involved because they could say, look, police, here's the here's the messages he's been sending this minor. Nothing, that didn't happen. If Twitch are, are withholding that information from the police, then um, that's a crime, isn't it? So Twitch knows there was nothing really of any substance there. It was just deemed inappropriate. And then you might say, yeah, but she was 17 and he knew that. And then that gets me thinking about other things. Who else has been 17? And the people who have been slamming Dr. Disrespect for this, let's just think a little bit about who they have been sexualizing historically. Jennifer Lawrence, Natalie Portman. Have you seen sexualized um, presentations of uh, Padme? At, co at conventions, she was uh, 17 in that movie. Well, <laughs> we could talk about this all night, but I think it's a, a trope of cinema, of uh -huh. course. It's cinema, not you. Yeah, to uh, have, you know, a young girl, very, very young girl, um, disarm a, a much older man, be so mature and intelligent and wise beyond her years, but mm. yet nubile, nubile. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Chloe Grace Moretz, Kristen Stewart, Emma Watson, Kira Knightley, Drew Barrymore. All these women have been sexualized by the same people who are having a pop at Dr. Disrespect now. So have you seen Natalie Portman in, uh, in, in, in the Star Wars movie? She looks amazing in that white outfit. She's 17. Is that inappropriate? Bonnie and Clyde didn't work alone. Thelma and Louise didn't work alone. And they were the best. We know, right, that... The doc was at his worst uh, around about that time. What are you shipping on? A little citrus so hot, just an IPA. Hey, doc, isn't he like 247 over there? And he did actually do something, didn't he? Because he, he, he cheated on his, his wife. And everyone else was more hurt than she was. She just, you know... The, it's this. Nobody really cares, right? People just love seeing somebody fall from such a great height, and I think that's what is happening. This is rubbernecking, rubbernecking another kind of internet celebrity uh, being crucified, and the, people love it. They think it's hilarious. You can always imagine the, you know, those guys with the mobile phones, like, <laughs> as they're filming like a woman being beaten up in the street. <laughs> They don't go and help or do anything. They video it laughing. These are the guys who are cancelling the dog. Now, I could be completely wrong, right? And I'll be the first to come forward and say, yeah, I was wrong. What an idiot. I'm an idiot. I, it was all right in front of us, everybody. And I missed it. But I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Let me... Be clear, it is not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. So he's not done anything wrong or the police would have been involved. That is my point. Now, from a moral standpoint, I absolutely take responsibility. I should never have entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband and a father. I should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm on my... And, and he's owning it. This was stupid. And it just amazes me how he... Right, if he if he was here saying, yes, yeah, so what? I did these things. Yeah, what's your problem? You're all liars. It's not true. If he's trying to cover it up or lie about it, that's a different story. But here he's saying, yeah, I did those things, and uh, it's crap. 
and I did them seven years ago, and uh, my family have suffered as a result. People have shot at his house, fired bullets at his house. Now, I've always said I don't get it. Don't get it mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. He's not a predator or a paedophile. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. That's a different level of disgust that I hate even hearing about. Don't be labelling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get out of here. And, you know, I read this and I thought, oh, man. Most of that tweet is excellent. It's spot on. And he's... he's, he's he, and I can understand why he tried to edit it because it could be that he he says is that is that sentence at the top there it says uh, where there were where, uh, where there twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017 it kind of implies that that he knew the person was a minor and it's possible that he didn't but we don't know 17 years old again. Look at the people, look at who's, who everybody was liking back then, you know? These people were all being sexualized. Jennifer Lawrence, Natalie Portman, all these people from the movies, all these celebrities who it's perfectly okay for everyone who's having a pop at Dr. Disrespect. It's perfectly okay for them to sexualize these 17-year-olds and younger. Absolutely fine. And then we've got, like, is it, what's it called? What's the Japanese, like... Um, anime thing where all the characters look like babies and all these guys who are having to go disrespect love looking at cartoon images of babies with boobs. Yeah, the hypocrisy is off the scale. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Dr. Disrespect. I look forward to him coming back. I look forward to finding out what is going on. Uh, deep down, we've all got it wrong. We, you've all got it wrong. And... Uh, I think from the ashes, the phoenix will emerge. Do you know what that means? Try again. A fabulous bird reborn from the ashes of its earlier life. Enjoy.